Hey, 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 welcome to the DPP channel. Today we have another One Piece TCG video and we'll be taking a look at the Whitebeard Mirror. Now the Whitebeard has a unique leader ability that starts the game off with 6 life and 6,000 power instead of the usual 5 life and 5,000. Now however, it does require the player to take his own life at each turn, which also translates to playing on a time bomb. How will the mirror game look like? Without further ado, let's take a look at the gameplay itself. Now we do see both players have 5 life now, and he's going to attach 2 down to the white beard, attacking it directly to the white beard. He does take it, pushing down to 4, and both players will be at 4 at the end of his turn. Now the funny thing is, players going 2nd is usually very favoured because you are actually on even dons, and most of the white beard cards are actually even, especially the white beard stage, Moby Dick. Now we do see him actually coming down with the 4 cost Vanilla, and I must say it's an even cost as well. So we do see the left player going down to 3 life already because he does take a life from the opponent's aggressive swing just now. He's gonna use 3 Dawn to here to actually go for the Vista, which is definitely like a Robin clone, but even better as some scenarios because it's on play instant effect and does swing at the opponent's leader. He does take it without actually guarding for that 1k. And we do see actually using 2 Dawn to actually set up the Moby Dick. Now Moby Dick is a very unique stage ability whereby when you do have 1 life or less, you do actually gain 2k power to all your white beard cards, even your leader. So it's definitely very strong. As he does swing aggressively at the opponent, he does finally take 1 life here. And we do see him actually using 1 Dawn to go for the Sea Quake to actually kill off the Vista because bodies on the field is definitely very scary, especially with the Moby Dick setup. And we do see a King Deal, a 5 coins Vanilla coming down as well. So basically for white beard decks, there's actually a lot of variant to actually play in the deck because there's so much ways you can look at it. Now in this gameplay itself, of course we do see the Vanilla build which is definitely using the Moby Dick stage and of course bunch of Vanilla shoes, basically the 2k shoes to actually guard well against the opponent. Now we do see the King Deal coming down and pushing down to 1 life thanks to the White Bear Leader skill. Now with those Vanillas already body staying on the field, it's definitely very scary and I must say it's a top priority for the left player to actually deal with them. Now we do start off with 9 Dawn, sorry 8 Dawn for this left player here as he does swing at the line for just 1k guard, he does guard with the Vista, does swing with the King deal which will be requiring for 3k guard, he does have the guard point which is definitely a very strong one cost event. Now we do see the White Beard swing for just 6k guarding with the Marco and Marco is definitely a very strong blocker for White Beard. And we do see 3 cards being used here as he does go for the squad and the squad will actually take his own life here which is definitely very concerning. However, it does minus 4k, allowing to kick into the Vista threshold, killing off that Vanilla straight away. Now with that body removed, we do see the left player having the advantage as he does have 4 bodies on the field compared to that chopper. And let's go for the Edward Newgate here to actually give him that power to actually not take his life this turn. And of course adding that 2k power to the leader, and the leader is swinging for 8k here. And we do see the Radical Beam as well as the Otama guarding desperately for that last swing. Now how will the left player deal with the 8k leader this turn? He definitely have to attach down to those vanillas but because he does have the bodies, it won't exactly be a tall order to actually pressure against the opponent. He does attach one down here for the King deal and we do see the Otama coming down to guard it already. He does attach two more dons to the vanilla pushing down to zero already and this is where little will happen as he attach two dons and Tony Tony Chopper will be guarding it even though it was just for 1k guard. So the opponent's hand is definitely looking very sus and definitely very vulnerable. Let's come down to Marco and Marco is definitely a very strong blocker because he does have the resurrection ability which means he can stick onto the board very stickly. Now we do see him attaching 6 dons to the leader, swing for a game here, but that's at the Marco, and, but he doesn't actually guard with the Marco straight away, he just go for the radical beam which is 4k power, does throw 2k's, 2 times 2k more guard and extra 1k which is total up to 9k power of guard which is definitely enough. We do see the white bear being attached for one more dawn here to swing at the leader by that at the Marco, gonna ditch one card from his hand which of course will resurrect it to the field. We do see the Sea Quake coming down as well to kill off the Vista, but however, it's not dealing off with that three, or uh, rather four other bodies on the field, which is definitely very unfortunate for the right player. However, he does have two active Dawn, but will he be able to guard against that four bodies bot this turn as he attached so much Dawn underneath that Vanilla, swinging for game here, but we do have Radical Beam, as well as Guard Point to guard for 7k power here. It looks like he does pump most of the Dawn to the Vanilla and swing for game. So basically, for the White Beard Mirror, it's all about the bodies on the field. Now, thank you guys for watching till the end, and unfortunately, I don't have a deck list for this, so apologies for that. However, do consider subscribing, dropping a like, and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.